Welcome once again to Greg's Kitchen, where the food is finger licking. Well, today I'm going to show you how to cook a tortilla de patatas, otherwise known as a Spanish omelette. Now, I used to live in Spain, and my abuelita taught me how to cook this, so this is an authentic Spanish recipe. I used to love making this dish when I lived over there, and I haven't made it for a long time, so I'm really looking forward to making this. Anyway, let's get started. To the ingredients. What you're going to need are some potatoes. I've got three pretty big ones here, but four or five medium sized ones will do. You'll need probably four or five eggs as well, and an onion, which is optional. You'll also need quite a deep little frying pan. That one's about eight inches, but you can make them bigger if you want. And you'll also need a plate that fits over the frying pan. You'll also need a fairly decent sized bowl to mix some of the stuff in as well. So what I've done is cut the onion up into little squares, which I'm going to fry now. And while that's frying, I'm going to cut the rest of this potato up into pieces about three or four millimeters thick or an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to fry those as well. Just fry those until they're cooked. And while that's frying, I'm going to cut up the rest of that potato. Right, well that onion's beautiful and golden, so I'm going to take it out and put it aside. So now I'm going to fry the potatoes, so I'm going to need quite a bit of oil. Now I cut this potato into thin slices, just so it cooks faster. But if you want to cut into thicker slices or thinner slices, totally up to you. Right, I'm going to add this potato in. Now you just want to fry this until it breaks easily. You don't want to cook it too much. And you might want to cook it in small batches. While that potato is frying, I'm going to crack four eggs into this bowl. Now I'm just going to mix that up. Those potatoes were pretty big, so I've thrown in another egg just in case. Now I'm going to add some salt into this. I'm going to put the onion in here now. I'll just check these potatoes. Well, that's just come apart nice and easily, so they're ready. So now what you need to do is drain these potatoes well. And you can put them straight in here. Straight in with the eggs. Now we're just going to mix this up. Doesn't matter if you mush it all up or anything, we're just going to mix it through. Okay, well that's that done. Now the fun begins. Might just put a little bit of olive oil in here to give it that authentic Spanish flavor. Now it's time to pour this mix into the frying pan. Oh, the non-stick frying pan. Where would we be without it? So you cook that for a minute or so. Now's the tricky part. I don't know how I'm going to film this. You've got to put the plate over the top. Flip it over. As you can see there, it's cooked nicely there. And we just slide that in. And we cook the other side. And after about a minute, that should be it, cooked. Turn that off. Now to get this out, we just put the plate on, another one, and there you have it. A beautiful Spanish omelette. Just take a look at that. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like inside. Now authentic Spanish omelettes are a little bit raw inside still. Just like that. Now you can cut the potato into smaller pieces or grate it or whatever you like, just to suit yourself. I like mine thick and chunky. Okay, well let's taste this. Oh, oh man, that is two thumbs up. When the eggs are just a little bit undercooked inside, it makes it creamy and unbelievably delicious. Really worth giving it a go.
Now the beauty about this Spanish omelette, you can eat it hot or cold as well. It doesn't matter. Great for tapas parties, Christmas, birthdays, whenever. It's really good, healthy and delicious. So give it a go and let me know if yours turned out because it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Greg's Kitchen. Olé, eso es Grace Cocina, donde la comida está rica. Oh, uh, sí.